Hi my friends, it's Marta here. I'm back to you with my video tutorial for Bluefern Studios. Today I will uh, show you a very basic, simple, um, classic, I would say, scrapbooking page. We won't be building any heavy backgrounds, only cutouts, papers, chipboards, and I will hope to show you how to create a lovely composition. Um, so enjoy my video. We start with planning our composition. I'm using new collection from Blue Fern Studios, beautiful Paisley and Wine. My main paper that I'm playing with is called Whimsy and those small cards are coming from paper called playing cards. I'm trying to build an interest on the page, layers, with just adding a few cards here and there. My next step is to alter the chipboard. I decided to emboss my frame. And this chipboard is coming from Bluefern Studios as well and it's called Oval Daisy Frame. I'm using uh, embossing powder to emboss the chipboard and I'm going to be mixing two different shades of embossing powder for um, an extra interest and extra shine. You can achieve really nice effects uh, when you're mixing two different shades of embossing powder. I'm doing the same thing with the other two chipboards. Um, the flower is coming from the new collection Paisley and Wine, and it's called Flowers. And the other one is called Frolic in the Sun. Again, I'm using two different um, embossing powders. Today's project is all about flowers and flourish. I decided to add some stenciling with the same design. I think it's adding just a little interest to the page, extra texture and it's just matching well. And here is the photo. Uh, I'm playing around with chipboards and trying to see where is best place to put it. Mm, those cute uh, flourish are coming from the new Blue Fern Studios Paisley and Wine collection and the page is called Splendor. All you need is small scissors uh, and patience. Those uh, paper cutouts are working as great as an embellishment. I love adding paper bits and pieces because it's uh, an easy uh, way to add some lovely elements uh, matching to your page. As you can see, I cut out some flowers as well. Um, I thought that they match wonderfully to my photo. 
uh, it's not easy to know where to add your paper embellishments or any embellishments you just have to put it here and there and see where it looks its best sometimes we might decide that no this is it I don't need anything more and some title I'm often asked how do you know your page do you plan it no I don't and I don't know how it's gonna look like at the end I'm going with the flow but I certainly uh, have few rules which means I have my color scheme I have my subject in this case were flowers uh, so I grabbed all of that around uh, all the cutouts and embellishments titles and be, I was sure everything is in the one color scheme and just quickly uh, I added some white Posca pen uh, splashes And here it is, my finished page, Free Spirit. I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope to see you soon.